Hey guys, what's up? By Second Tron here from One Half Gazette. Here with the next base destruction video and uh, wanted to show a Town Hall 10 because last recap had a lot of Town Hall 9s in it. Uh, this is a Town Hall 10. We're taking a look at two attacks on it and it is from the most recent war, the one after the arranged war. Uh, didn't have the best bases, but this one actually uh, it's very high level even though it's not an anti three star layout as you can see just kind of a symmetrical anti two star base. Uh, but we'll take a look at the base, see kind of how the attackers went about attacking it and what worked, what didn't. So just taking a look at this base in general, keep in mind that these two air defenses like this can both be uh, accessed by a queen walk around the outside. And that's not important for air attacks because we're not, we're not seeing much uh, Lava Hound balloon attacks at Town Hall 10 anymore. But it's important in that the healers can't be shot down as easily because the queen, instead of ignoring the air defense if it was one tile back, uh, she, she can take it out and that way the healers aren't going to wrap around too close to it and get shot down, which enables you to do a bigger queen walk uh, that spanned more of the base and can kind of go around at an angle uh, rather than if it was farther back as the queen moves, uh, the, eventually the healers start cutting in and the uh, air defense shoots them down. So that's something that the first attacker took advantage of very nicely. Uh, you can see also here uh, Another thing to try to do is take advantage of kind of how in this area you have both the Inferno Towers and also the other two air defenses. So the first attacker, Lenny, uh, decides that a good go Valo would work pretty nicely here. Or not really any golems, just a Valo with Valks and Balloons. Because if Valks can take out those two air defenses, Balloons can come in here and take out uh, pretty much all this exposed point defense. So that's something that Lenny was looking to do here. Uh, the plan was this though, come in with a queen walk, start it off here, let her walk all the way around to here, uh, luring out the CC troops at one point to kill them, has the ability, uh, has a poison, and he ends up using a rage. I don't know if he wanted to use a rage, and it was close as to whether he should have, but to be safe, he used a rage to keep her up once she got in range of kind of these, these three point defense in that area. So he uses the rage there, and uh, the plan was just to send in the Valks like that, to drop uh, two jumps to kind of let them uh, get these air defenses and get the Inferno Towers along with all the Teslas and the Queen and everything that's in that area. The problem is that the Valks kind of go off in weird directions at the beginning. Uh, for whatever reason, he doesn't quite funnel them in, right? And it's kind of a hard thing to do to get them into that little Wizard Tower uh, compartment right there because the other two above and below it are pretty close by. And uh, eventually they, they do go the right way eventually, but they take a lot of damage. There's a giant bomb there, the Queen, the Multi-Inferno. His heal is just too late, and uh, even after the Multi-Inferno goes down, he still waits a few moments before healing them, and there's just too many of them dead. They don't make it to the core, and because of that, uh, the air defenses, the Infernos don't really go down, or at least the, the single Inferno on the back side here doesn't go down. Also, the King doesn't end up going in. He kind of goes off to this... Uh, direction by meets up with the queen and uh, that costs him too because the king's obviously an asset if he's going into the base with your valves he can help out but he doesn't so things die out and uh, there's nothing for the balloons to do because they get sent in and just get shot down by the air defenses so anyway we'll take a look at the attack and then we'll come back here and see what the second attacker did okay here we go with Lenny's attack uh, you can see here he's going to start off with the queen walk like I said Dropping her down, the four healers, that one wizard, pretty easy funnel to create there. Uh, he'll let her just do some work for a moment, start making her way into the base. Um, you can see she, she can access that first air defense, which she'll lock onto in just a moment, take it down, so it's not going to do any damage to the healers. Uh, she can clear out pretty much the entire compartment right here, has access to all these buildings, and um, in just a moment she'll start heading north. And I, I think maybe he could have waited a little bit longer because she doesn't fully finish her walk when he starts off at the Valks. So I think if he waited a little bit longer, she could have helped create a better funnel and the Valks would have you know, kind of gone more directly into the compartment he wanted. Uh, but by doing it so early, uh, the Valks kind of start heading north and south and split before they actually go into the compartment he wanted them to go into. But it is understandable because that Lava Hound takes up so much time that he had to keep moving because he was getting low on time only have the three minutes. Uh, right here has to use the ability. A little bit unfortunate, maybe a few minions or something could have helped because those lava pups got the queen down. The poison spell wasn't enough. 
and then right here a few small bombs go off she is only taking damage from one point defense but just for that instant right there there's two on her he pretty much has to uh, drop that rage i think she might have gone down if he didn't so good decision there but he's already starting in on with the valks and a few funnel creation troops right there but you can see the valks are all kind of going for different walls here he does have a few wall breakers but they don't open up the wall completely finally they do the giant bomb goes off the queen's there the multi inferno all those teslas uh, you can see here the inferno's down but the heal isn't so these valks are taking a ton of damage and um, even with that heal i'm not sure how much they would have done but because it was so late anyway it just ensured that they didn't do anything really to that core besides get that one inferno tower taken out uh, the king and the queen still up would have helped like i said if the king had gone in uh, but he didn't so not a very successful push into the base go ahead and go times two because it's pretty much over at this point uh, as those heroes kind of beat through the walls and get a little bit more uh, sends in a few balloons to kind of help out but this thing is pretty much over uh, sends in those last few balloons kind of around the base but uh, not much going to be done here it does get the town hall so it is a two star um, which is you know solid it's something to build off of but uh, definitely doesn't have the blueprint blueprint for the three star so we'll go ahead and see what the ch what changes were made uh, to get the three star plan and how Pendragon did just that. So like I said the next attacker is Pendragon he brings something a little bit different uh, starts off here with a queen walk and drops her down right here all signs kind of indicate that he wants her to walk up this way and uh, start taking out this section of the base but for whatever reason the funnel doesn't quite get created properly and uh, she ends up heading this way uh, even though he took out I think a few buildings here to try to make, cut that funnel she ends up going to the left as a result a few healers do get shot down uh, the CC troops come out luckily she deals with them when there's no defenses targeting her so he doesn't have to use any spells or anything uh, but she starts making her way to the left here and uh, he drops down his king uh, actually a golem right here to tank and then a few uh, wizards the golem doesn't do a whole lot it kind of gets busted before it can even enter the base but it tanks long enough for the funnel to be created and the valks to pretty much move into the first little area of the base right here uh, he lets them just kind of beat their way through the wall here and kind of like the last attack the valks are a little bit uh, going in every direction but the difference is he's coming from the other side and he only uses one jump drops it down like right in this area instead of using the double jump so technically the inferno towers aren't opened up but uh, they do end up going down just as the Valks kind of beat their way through uh, and also he makes sure to uh, first rage them but has that heal going down very quickly and because he's not bringing any defensive targeting troops uh, balloons or hogs he has like a one or two hogs but mainly not, no defensive targeting troops he has so many Valks that they move through a lot quicker the heal gets a lot of value because it heals them all back up and while they're being healed he freezes this area so that freeze heal combo gives the Valks that boost they needed that they didn't have in the first attack to get back to full health keep moving forward has I think a second rage so using pretty much all five of his spells on the Valks right in that area uh, ensuring that they're going to make their way through the base and take out both the inferno towers uh, which they do and uh, now that that like unlike the first attack he doesn't really have a plan for these bottom uh, belt of defenses but the queen actually ends up kind of making her way through behind the kill squad because remember she came down this way so she comes down with her healers the healers actually go onto the Valks but she kind of ends up taking the jump before it wears off comes down to this little pocket right here and starts taking out all these defenses so gets great uh, end game value for his queen and then has a few hogs just for the top area to send through, uh, take out a few distracted defenses. But I think the moral of the story, and we'll see the attack in a moment, but the main thing is that uh, he didn't bring the defensive targeting troops, which is something that he's not dealing with every part of the base, but he he can he's trusting that he'll have enough troop power, enough just, you know, army left up to be able to uh, deal with that last bit of defenses. And uh, sometimes that's what you have to do at Town Hall 10. You might not have, like at Town Hall 9, you have a little plan for every part of the base. At Town Hall 10, maybe you, might, you don't have that, but you have enough to know that you can get through the main part of the base, which is the Inferno Towers. And if you can do that quick enough and just bring a lot of Valks, say, and just do it, you know, with your five spells, a ton of Valks, and get through quickly, sometimes you'll have enough left up that they'll be able to deal with it, 
you know, the remaining defenses in one way or another. So you don't always have to have a plan because sometimes if you spread out your army too much in little sections of the base, uh, nothing ends up getting done. And uh, that was kind of shown by uh, Lenny who brought 14 balloons, which was a good plan, it would have worked, but that sacrificed him down to like 12 Valks, which weren't able to get the job done in the core. So sometimes you just kind of make sure you get the big job done and maybe that'll spill over into getting other parts of the base taken out. So anyway, let's take a look at the attack and then we'll wrap this thing up. So here is Pendragon's attack. Uh, he's gonna start off with that queen walk and uh, you can see he puts down those few minions, but the main building he should have taken out is that elixir pump. The gold mine actually pretty much won't affect which way she goes. It's the elixir pump that's gonna have an impact on uh, her pathing because it's an, it's close enough that it'll pull her over, but um, or it's far away enough that she'll have to actually move to get it. So it ends up bringing her over to the left side. And at this point, it's pretty much no return. She's already made her decision. A few archers come out of the CC, which she deals with. Then here comes that Lava Hound. But like I said, luckily, there's no defenses on her while she's dealing with it. That level 4 Lava Hound takes a lot of time to take out. So uh, that's something that happened to Lenny. Uh, you can see uh, in the last attack how his lava, the Lava Hound came out, which really wasted a lot of time. The same thing kind of happens here. Uh, but the Queen Walk's pretty independent of the rest of the attack. He already has a plan to funnel in the Valks without the Queen because he was planning on the Queen going uh, to the other direction. So he can kind of just let her go. Uh, that air defense is going to take down a few healers. Uh, or I think it, it gets one healer low. It starts targeting them. But she gets on it pretty quickly because remember she can still reach it. There goes the Golem and a few Wizards. There's, but there's like four point defense on it on the golem right there so it's going to end up breaking pretty quickly doesn't get a ton of value out of it just the funnel and maybe that one archer tower goes down drops down the king to help create that funnel here come the valks though a little bit more organized everything kind of going in and has quite a few more valks <clears throat> than lenny did there's the rage and uh you can see the inferno tower doesn't go down immediately but the jump actually lets them into the first inferno and then that freeze heal combo it's so quick along with that second rage the valks are pretty much at full health as they move through the base taking out everything uh the jump ended up actually spanning both inferno towers so they both went down very quickly then he has a ton of full health valks those healers are still up uh they get the benefit of the rage keeping the valks at full health there goes the uh the queen takes that little pocket like i said uh, takes out those defenses pretty much just a little bit of the base left up has a few hogs making their way through uh, the healers the one of those healers at least still up from the queen walk so it gets great value and like i said uh there's a there's a certain value to just overwhelming the inferno towers taking out the important stuff on the town hall 10 base and being confident that something's going to get those remaining defenses you don't always have to have a plan for uh, every part of the base at Town Hall 10. That's something that you might have learned at Town Hall 9, but it doesn't always translate over to Town Hall 10 because it's a lot harder to three-star at Town Hall 10. And uh, sometimes if you spread out your troops too much, nothing ends up getting done and uh, you won't end up getting the three-star. So good attack to Pentagon. Pretty good plan to Lenny, just didn't quite work out well. Uh, the higher level heroes would have helped him for sure. But uh, we saw that the plan also being tweaked made a huge difference and worked out very nicely for Pendragon. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the base destruction series. Always a fun video to make. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.